part one of a uh, hybrid toy hauler. This probably applies to pop-ups and uh, any kind of uh, RV trailer that has a fold-out bunk. This one happens to be a toy hauler, but what I've got here is this bunk delamination. And you can see, uh, it's a little hard to see it now with the naked eye uh, because of the way the sun is, but there's definitely some delam and it goes up from about here and it kind of tapers down towards that corner over there. Um, on the inside, I've already taken the uh, tent part loose from this bunk, which it has a, a rail strip that screws in there. I've already taken that off and folded it back in out of the way because I'm going to take this off. So I got to take this off and take it in my shop to rebuild the core of this. As you can see, it's it's really soft. Up here, it's hard, nice and hard, and you can tell where the D-lamp starts and work your way down, and it just gets soft. I peeled open this. It's kind of like a wallpaper stuff here, and this in here is still wet, and it looks like it's a, a laminate piece of uh, oh quarter-inch plywood or something, Luon. Uh, on top of a piece of styrofoam and it's probably got the same and then it's glued or bonded down below so I'm gonna take this off take it into my shop and uh, disassemble it I'm gonna have to bag this up because this this is gonna be a uh, task that's gonna take me several days to get this done probably um, if not a couple weekends maybe but um, anyway uh, to get this off I'll have to take this seal loose and uh, take that piano hinge loose. I tried getting these screws out here already and they're in really tight and I don't want to strip them out or break them off so I'll wait till I got it on a workbench where I can really get some good uh, straight leverage on it. So I gotta close this up, hook my truck up to it, pull it back to my shop where it's easier to work on. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back here at the shop and I think now maybe it's really hard for me to see that viewfinder in the camera but I think now you can see there's there's a bubble it starts about here and you can see how it delammed about set three quarters of the way across I pulled the screws out all the way around in this flange which is welded on the top corners so it's basically three pieces welded into one assembly that slides down over the top of this and then the bottom is a uh, hinge piece that screws into the, uh, to the bunk so I need to see if I can work this off of here oh, yeah, there it goes. Oh boy, it's going to be difficult.
here's what we got for an inner core. It's got an aluminum frame that's welded all the way around. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear that off. You can see how how much moisture is in that and it's where it's rotten. That's just gotta come off. It's like wallpaper is what it is. There's the wet line, dry line. I don't want to tweak it, so I gotta just ease it off of here. There it is. But what it looks like up here is maybe an eighth inch panel, wood panel, on both top, outside and inside, and probably in depth of it here. Let me get my knife. Let's see what we got inside here. Okay, a little further investigation. When I peel this upper layer, which is about an eighth of an inch up, I find there's about a two by six piece. I don't know if it's plywood or if it's hardwood, but it's about six inches wide here, strip that goes down, and I think that's because the latches are out here uh, that hold it closed. But when you get on the inside in here, you got styrofoam. So I drew a line with a straight edge across and I'm up several inches into where I know it's dry solid wood and I'm going to try and pop that off of there because it's rotten anyway uh, but I want to get it to the good wood so I'm cutting it with a with a brand new razor blade uh, and a razor knife so I can get a nice clean edge across there. If I end up having to splice a piece of uh, eighth inch or something luon in there I want it to be able to be a nice clean edge. So I gotta cut that the rest of the way across. Right open.
that's what I'm looking for. This will be interesting. So there you can see the thickness of that. That it's uh, glued to that styrofoam core with a really good adhesive. But I know in past experiences working with that styrofoam, if you use uh, a contact cement, it's got an acetone chemical in it and it'll melt that stuff and shrink it. So I don't want to use that. It's going to have to be uh, some other kind of adhesive. Don't know yet. I'm going to kind of make it up as I go along here and see what I get into. Hopefully uh, I don't get too deep. But I'm going to see if I can pull this piece of styrofoam core out, which will give me, I can replace it, but it will give me access to the inside to clean up underneath it where the outside skin needs cleaned up to bond to. Um, so I'm going to see if I can cut this dude out. Feels like it's already kind of loose in there. Might be something right there. I don't know yet. Here we go. Just gotta be careful, I don't want to uh, damage that outside skin. tell where the wood got solid and where it's not. Having a good sharp uh, putty knife, razor knife, five and one is what this is. This stuff is just something else here. It's all wet. That's where the moisture gets in and absorbs it and holds that moisture and then it rots everything out. Well I got most of the, uh, the wet damage core out and you can see you can see the wave in this now, how it's, that's, that's what it looked like on the outside was that bubble in there. And there's the delamination showing. So I got to clean all this up. May still take it apart or take it off and take it inside to my workshop so I can work on it at night. Um, I still got to come up with what I'm going to fill my core with, whether I'm going to be able to replace it with one inch foam. I'm not sure. I got to see if I can buy some. If not, I'll have to use uh, uh, stacked plywood. If you notice that this board right here that I thought was a 1x8, 1x something, um, it's not. It's a piece of plywood that's uh, laminated plywood. And if you look on that one right there, you can see that it's uh, laminated. The, the sun's beating down on it and it's starting to dry out. Hopefully it's not going to swell. If this thing swells up, then I'll probably have to take the whole thing out and replace all these pieces. If that's the case, I may just put it all back with plywood and then seal it really good on all the edges as it goes together so that water can't penetrate. But we're not there yet. Still got a lot of cleanup to do here. A 
done all I can do now while it's up here. So I took the screws out of that piano hinge. And now I'm going to take this thing off. I've got it loose, I think. This isn't going to happen in a day. So now I've got to close this up, make it water, watertight so if it rains it doesn't uh, ruin what I've already worked on. Well, here's the uh, day one end result. You saw what I just finished off the bunk. I took it off of the with the piano hinge to uh, take it inside and work on it and to make sure this stays protected, keeps the bugs and rain and moisture and everything out I put this plastic over it. Uh, painters tape I hope will hold. It's sticking to that Eternabond pretty good. I got an Eternabond tape all the way around the perimeter and uh, that's what the painters tape is sticking to with that plastic. So I'll keep an eye on it and if I need to do something different I'll uh, fix it. Uh, but I think that's good enough. There's no storms coming in the forecast that I know. But that could change. September 1st.